Welcome back to Georgia 4 Low. I'm Arthur. Today we're going to install the Cab Fab Elite Series tailgate mounted tire carrier. So stick around, just a little, little Jeep update. We're upgrading some parts of the Jeep, getting rid of some of the imported parts, and going back with some high quality American made American steel products. So stick around, hope you enjoy this little video, and uh, thanks for watching. So here's the uh, Cab Fab, just to look at it. This is, like I said, a uh, tailgate mounted or body mounted tire carrier. This will replace your existing uh, tailgate hinges. So you're getting a big upgrade there as far as uh, tailgate hinges. And plus you're getting a tire carrier that can run up to a 40 inch tire. And I believe it could even run taller than that. You're just gonna run into probably limitations of your Jeep's tub and the tailgate itself. But um, this unit is obviously, it's cab fab, so it's designed, engineered, and built and tested right here in the US. Uh, a lot of the parts, or most of the parts are CNC lasered cut formed. Uh, 3 16 quarter inch and 3 8 uh, American steel. The uh, hinges up here have an oil light bronze bushing. Uh, it's kind of one of those um, requires uh, no lubricant. Uh, it is adjustable. The uh, tire carrier is adjustable. You can adjust this piece right here up and down on this um, mount here. And obviously the place where the tire is mounted is obviously uh, adjustable. Um, in and out to get a closer fit to the tailgate or to fit further out depending on your tire width. Um, Cab Fab also builds this to accommodate 5x5 five five bolt pattern, 8x6.5 uh, and 8x170 and bolt pattern. So there's different bolt patterns just depending on what you've been running for axles and, and wheel combinations. Uh, it does ship raw steel. There is no drilling or cutting anything. It is a direct bolt on and all the hardware is included. You get all grade uh, 8 uh, mounting hardware and stainless hardware. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get these, I'm going to get the tailgate shut. I'm going to pull these two bolts out here, which are uh, 13 millimeter, I do believe. I'm going to pull those out, and then there's um, some Torx bits here. We'll pull those out, but that'll leave the tailgate um, kind of sitting there. And uh, once we get the uh, cab fab hinges on, we can hang the tire carrier up there and then kind of lay the tire carrier over to the tailgate. So the tire carrier is going to mount obviously to these bolts here and replace your hinges. But we're also going to come over and the tire carrier is going to tie in to the back here where your OEM tire carrier would. So there's very minimal adjustments should be needed here. If anything, once we get, um, get it installed and get a tire situated on it, since we are taking these loose and tailgate is kind of be hanging there, um, some of the adjustments will be taken up once we attach the tire carrier here, here. but if anything, you may have to leave these slightly a little loose on the hinges and just do a little vertical uh, adjustment as needed, but I think it's going to be pretty minimal. So you can see I got the one hinge just hanging here and I just wanted to point out if you just leave these uh, well, I'll probably snug them up a little bit more but I just wanted to show you that there is some um, you may have to do some adjustability with these hinges once you get the carrier uh, on the tailgate and get a tire on it so you might want to just snug these but leave them kind of loose and another note these little oil light uh, bushings uh, kind of like a bronze bushing these are uh, a press fit, but it's really light. I pushed all four of them in about three quarters of the way by hand and then just took a little plastic mallet and tapped them in and finished it. So real easy to uh, press these in. Obviously, if you get paint or powder coat in there, it's gonna cause more of an interference. So I got both of the hinges on. Now you wanna, you have two of these in your kit, these little pins. And uh, these oil light bushings uh, never need to be lubricated. So that's kind of cool. I actually pulled this pin out I had inserted them, they were dry because I clear coated them, and uh, I actually inserted the pins in this oil light bushing just for storage, they've been in there a few days, and I pulled them out and they're oily. 
So it's kind of like a self-lubricating uh, bushing. But I'm going to put just a little bit of grease, obviously, on the inside of here because there'll be a large bolt that passes through. And I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on there just because that's just the way I am. But um, these will insert through here. You can see it's pretty, pretty comfortable fit. Nothing major as far as getting them pressed in. So the next thing I did, guys, was you can see I kind of got it hanging here. Was is that I did this by myself, so it's real easy to do. I actually held the tire carrier up, got the two uh, hinge points resting on the hinges themselves, and then I just dropped the, the first big bolt through, picked up the other bolt, just dropped it through, and then now it's just kind of hanging there, uh, waiting to finish up the uh, attachment process. We still got some fasteners to put through here. There's some shims, there's spacers that go here, and then we'll get this attached to the tailgate and then um, start to manipulate it some to see if we need to make any adjustments to it. But I think it's going to work really well as far as minimum adjustments. Once we get all the fasteners tied in across the tailgate and get everything realigned. Okay, so these are the uh, spacers. These will drop down and go between the um, tire carrier hinge and the tailgate itself to take up this void. You kind of see that void. Uh, right there, it's going to take up that void. So you got two for the top, two for the bottom. I went ahead and painted those black. But just to note, all the hardware came pre-packaged and individually packaged. In other words, these four bolts and washers were packaged for this hinge location. These uh, hinge bolts, there's six of them, three here, three here. Those in the washers were packaged individually for that. And then all these bolts that tie it in here were packaged individually. So one, one of the tricks is to get this carrier hanging, get these bolts started. These bolts started with your, um, uh, we'll call them spacers or shim pack that's behind there. So get those started, come around and get all these bolts started and get every one of these just snugged up. Get these gently snugged up, these here, come over here and snug up the uh, hinge bolt just so you can put a little tension on it get these snugged up um, these are just accessory bolts for like a uh, uh, high lift uh, jack carrier mount can go here I just put the bolts in there just to clean that holes up at this point you should have not opened the tailgate at all yet now you just want to snug and tighten up these outside bolts tighten these up pretty good uh, just snug them up and then now Everything should be kind of in place to the point to where you can open the tailgate and tighten the inside bolts here. Now that's the only way you can access the inside hinge bolt is if you open up the tailgate. So you'll tighten those up. Give it a test fit. Obviously I don't have the tire hanging on it, but uh, at this point, we're going to torque these and um, torque them to specification. And um, I'll leave that torque spec or I'll just put it in the video here. So you can see the adjustability of it. <clears throat> this piece here, you can adjust it up and down uh, depending on the size tire or how high you want the tire or even how low. And then, of course, the uh, where the actual wheel mounts, this can kind of slide in and out, give it tucked in or pulled out. You know, it just depends on the wheel and the tire combination but uh, I think it looks really good overall the installation is pretty simple pretty straightforward okay so we got this thing installed and uh, I must say it's pretty sweet I mean there's no other words for it pretty dang nice piece of equipment heavy-duty tire carrier already talked about all the specifications and uh, one thing I got to do is I got to um, make a new uh, CB antenna bracket. I want this CB antenna. I need to move it up to here. I already got a, a bracket kind of fabricated. Fabricated. I need to clean it up. But I want to move that up to here, and I want to bring the tire in. Uh, I want to bring this. Uh, it is adjustable, but I want to bring it closer to the body. That's kind of another reason why um, I was kind of updating to a lot of the cab fab stuff. The products, their bumpers, front and rear bumpers, and tire carriers really um, hug the body lines. So this tire is adjustable. So time I get that antenna forward, I can bring this tire in and I want to close up 
this gap and give the back of the Jeep just a little bit more of a uh, compact look, just shorten it up because all the aftermarket stuff I had that was imported, everything was bigger. The um, bumpers hung out further, the tire was out further, even the front bumper was out further. Everything was just, just wasn't well thought out like the cab fab stuff is. Also went with their um, license plate uh, relocation bracket, so that works pretty good. And uh, nice little piece of uh, laser cut, I'd assume laser cut, uh, stainless. I put a little polish to it, make it shiny. Again, you got your uh, place here to mount a high lift jack. Um, I think if I had to do over again, just if I had something that I wanted to do over again, I probably, before I powder coated, I probably would have drilled and tap these for a zerk fitting. They do have a um, oil light bushing in there which is a self uh, lubricating bushing and it works completely smooth, everything's great, but I'm thinking longevity, um, moisture, stuff like that. I think of drilling this and tapping it would have been a great idea for a, uh, a zerk fitting. That way I can shoot some grease in there and occasionally do that and you know get some moisture pushed out of there. But um, if I have to, I can get these two things Repowdered, and I'll drill them in the future. Maybe you know it never ends. I was just excited to get it installed. It's just something uh, excited to get it powdered and, and installed. It's just something that I overlooked, but we'll worry about that. I don't think it's going to be needed. It's packed uh, full of marine grease right now. One thing you may be want to cautious of is it's possible that it could just slightly overextend and may bump the stop there and um, damage the powder coat. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just not going to force it at this point, but the thing opens up. Right there's the, uh, we'll say the detent or the mechanism for the latch, but there's also that extra little right there. So if I was to slam this open, I'm sure it would take up a lot of tolerances in this linkage and may make contact. And um, of course, obviously that potentially could damage the powder, but so anyways just something to be aware of and um, get another look here here's my um, here's where I want the tire to be I want to bring this piece back to here so I got it marked and uh, I can move this CB antenna forward shuts nice and easy I didn't even have to make any adjustments um, just I installed it just as you saw early in the video and uh, shuts fine I probably have I got these probably a little tighter than what I need to be because I wanted some resistance on the tailgate. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That's the Cab Fab uh, tire carrier, just a rundown on it. Uh, it's a really great product and I gave you some information about it. And um, maybe I'll do an update on this thing. I'm curious to see how it holds up. I got maybe 100 miles, 150 miles at the most on it. And uh, so far so good, but I know that's real early. We got to get it on the trails. We got to get thousands of miles on it, but I'm not expecting any problems. So hey. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Love to hear what kind of tire carrier setup that you're using and drop those comments below. Thanks.